I want to make something clear on my channel that I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't really made explicitly clear before. In terms of my sacred space and making videos about my sacred space, is that you will notice that I take my sacred space by myself. Um, I try not to bring the core part of my life around in public. So let's say you might look at my writing as something that I, I am public about or my videos that I'm public about. Um, there's only so much that I'm willing to put in public about my life. Um, I certainly am never going to make any money at what I find sacred. Um, that's never been a factor in my life. That's never been a thought in my life that I would do that. I never had that ambition to do that. And I'm quite thankful um, that I was healthy enough, quite frankly, to know that and to know better. Um, that, saved, that saved me a lot of suffering. It saved me a lot of delusion, which isn't always suffering, actually, for anyone but everyone else. I want to say that I'm immune to that. But I will say this. I am uh, often doing things of this nature by myself because people scare me. And the only other people that scare me besides people is people who aren't sc scared of people. Uh, people walking around today <clears throat> in the world. It doesn't mean it's worth being scared of all of them. I'm not saying that. Um, but it's worth not being scared of all of them. Unless you've got a much more aware vision than I do. Um, but then people have different needs. Um, I look for a number of things when I look for someone to be in my life or anywhere but the periphery of my life. Um, chief among those is an interest in my heritage or the value that I place in my heritage. It doesn't matter if someone's interested in anything I write or say, but they're interested that something very real is valuable to me that I don't have a lot of physical evidence of. That's why I don't call it spirituality, because it's my life. If anything can talk, I want that thing to talk to me. Because I've seen the results of human beings that lose the ability of their interest in listening to very important members of their lives, most noticeably their children, because you've probably been someone's child. Thanks for listening.